Hi there, it's Tamara with From the Treetop, and I just want to do a um, quick edit to show you how the new overlays work. My overlays are made a little different now. They can actually be used with the Artist Workflow um, Volume 1 uh, Texture Action Set now. So I wanted to go ahead and just show you how it works. I have a more in-depth tutorial um, about the Action Set, but I'm just going to kind of let you watch me work with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, place my overlay onto my image. Choosing the sunburst overlay. And the sunburst overlay, you will you want to use it, obviously, on an image where you would typically see sunburst. It may be fun to play with, but that's really what it was intended for. Um, I'm going to select the hard light, blend mode. I'm going to go ahead and remove a little bit of that unwanted haziness from her. Not too much of it because this is supposed to kind of mimic a sun flare. I'm just going to fade it back out. Now I'm going to come into my replace texture tone and color layer and bring that color back in to her face and her body and her clothes. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit more off this area and fade out and add a little more back in. It really is like painting, and maybe that's why I like it, because I enjoy painting, and I think it's a, it allows you to really be creative with your edits. Okay, let's see. Now I'm going to go ahead and run the light and shadows action, because I want to bring some more contrast and color back into, the, back into her face, and mainly with her in the image. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm painting in some contrast now. Pull that down a bit. And now I'm going to paint on some color because she lost a bit of that. Okay, so I've got my, my texture layer and my light and shadows layer. Now I'm going to apply a, um, a vintage tone. In this case, I'm going to use Gossamer Wings. And I'm going to go ahead and just drag it down just a bit. And sometimes when you use a vintage tone, if you find that, it, that it's too hazy, you can actually just um, drag your light and shadows layer up above the um, tone so that those effects, you know, you can work on those maybe a little bit more. I'm going to paint on a little bit of mid-tones here. Okay, Okay. so I'm almost done. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, at this point I'm going to go ahead and flatten my file. I want to go ahead and play the pinched cheeks action. And I really like this one because it's just going to add a little bit of a rosy glow to her little cheeks. And of course we don't want to get too crazy with that one because it can look really, really fake. So just bring it down. I've got it at about 30%. But it really gives our skin just that extra little pop of color. And now I want to run Glow. And Glow is one that you'll, run, you'll want to run on a flattened file. And I already love the way it looks. I think it um, is so sunny and golden and beautiful. Okay, I'm going to bring glow down a bit. It's a little, a little much, maybe to about 30%. And then for my last touch, I'm going to run my cool down tone on top and bring it down to about 
oh, 27%. So um, that is our um, final product. Let me go ahead and use the create a snapshot so I can show you the original. Create a snapshot, I'm going to name it Sunburst. Okay, so now we have our before. And our after before and after and it really didn't take me that long and I could still edit with it and this is just a fast edit to show you but um, that's how they work and I really enjoy using them and I hope you will too talk to you soon